George R. R. Martin has said there's no character to purely root for in this series, but Sir Harold seems like one of the few decent characters, at least so far. Thank you. <laughs> so, are we wrong to compare him to Sir Davos from Game of Thrones? I mean, I can see why you would. He's a morally upright human being. He is. And that is, as George points out, is extremely rare in this world. He's not devious. He's not, he doesn't have an agenda uh, currently that I'm aware of. <laughs> it's going to be uh, problematic, but you know. He also seems like he takes a caretaker role to Rhaenyra when she's young. How does that role evolve as she grows up on the series? Harold has known Rhaenyra since she was born, basically. And uh, given that his role as Lord Commander of the King's Guard involves him forsaking family life of his own, you know, he's not allowed to have relationships and all the rest is not allowed to uh, titles, land, castles, money, and all of that sort of thing. He devotes himself in a kind of fatherly slash avuncular way to uh, Rhaenyra. And I think is secretly, quietly, very pleased when she is named heir. I think he regards her as very capable and very trustworthy. He's also discreet. He's mm -hmm. discreet. So he's not going to be going around shouting you from the rooftops, that's for sure. You rode horses a lot on Outlander, too. Is it tougher to sit on a horse in a kilt or an armor? <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, good, good question. Um, it all depends on the horse. It really does. <laughs> if you get a good horse, you can sit on with them with anything. I mean, I've got to be honest, getting on and off the horse in armor can be tricky. I can imagine. Um, yeah, a little awkward, but we did manage it. It's easier, yeah, the kilt. Okay, good to know. <laughs> and, you know, it's easy to get caught up in, like, the grand scale of the show, but when it comes down to it, what is it to you for Harold? What does he want the most this season? He wants peace and stability, definitely. Mm -hmm. And he wants to see the woman that he's seen grow from being a child uh, into who she is now to be um, the best queen possible. That's it for him, really. And he wants to protect her and to make sure that Nothing gets in the way of the Targaryens going forward as they have up to this point in a, in a, in a sort of solid, straightforward, peaceful way. Unfortunately, other people have other ideas 